Right, we've now completed the layout for the images. We have one more thing that we need to do before we can actually start automating the process. We need to identify what each image is. So the first thing is, um, click on the first image, the big image, make sure it's selected, and move down into the property inspector, which is down here, and give this image an ID. So we're gonna call this big, big image one. Okay, so this first one is big image one. In the same way you identify that, you need to also identify the thumbnail. So click on the first thumbnail and call that one thumb one. So that's the first thumbnail image. Click on the second one and give it an ID in the property inspector thumb two. And then click on the third one and give it an identity thumb three. Those identities are going to be very important when we now try to automate this, the gallery so that as we move over each image, the big image will change. So now that that's been completed, the next stage is to go up to Windows, which is up here, and look for Behaviors. So go up to the Windows, windows in a menu and click Behaviors. Now a Behavior window will open, and that's what you see right here. Now, by using this behavior window, we're going to be able to create an effect that as we move over each image, this image will change. So click on the first image, first thumbnail, which is this one here. Once you click on it, click in the behaviors box in the first um, box on the first row. Now click the down arrow and a whole load of actions appear. What we're looking for is on mouse over, we want this big image to change. So on mouse over, in the second box, click, and now you're gonna add what you want to happen. So click here, the plus sign, that's here. And the behavior we want to do is we want to swap the image. Now this is where you now have to think a little bit. What you need to understand is what you want to happen on mouse over the thumbnail. What we want to happen is that the big image, one, must change to another big image. So what we want to happen is image, big image one. So this is big image one. Select the label for big image one. What, what do we want? We want to set that to big image two. So I think the second image, if I go to downloads, is the guy playing the guitar. So we want it to go to big image two. Big image two, which is the guy playing the guitar. If I can find that, I hope I can find that. Which should be this one here. So click it. So what this is actually saying is, when I mouse over thumbnail one, big image one will change to big image two, which is the guy playing the guitar. Leave a tick in preload images, but remove the tick next to restore images on mouse out. Once you've done that, click OK. So on mouse over, we're going to swap images. Now we won't see anything with the first one, so we're going to do the second one to ensure... Oh, that was wrong actually. Let me go back and amend the swap, because that wasn't quite right. On image one, on clicking first thumbnail, image one, the actual image we want to show is the same one, not the different one, because it's the same image. So I click that. Correct. Let me correct myself. Make sure there's a tick in preload image. Remove the tick by restore images on mouse out and click OK. So that one, you won't see any change. Click thumbnail two and go through the similar, similar process. Click in the first cell. Click the action you are looking to um, set, which is on mouse over. Click in the second box and select the behavior you want to show. So you want the swap image. The swap image box comes up. What image do you want to change is the big image. So big image one. And what do you want to change it to? Browse. And click what you want to change it to, which is the guy playing the guitar. Click open. Click OK. Um, make sure there's a tick in preload images. Take the tick off. Restore images on mouse out and click OK. Let's save this and see if it actually works. So file save, close the behavior window, and let's have a look at, to see if it actually works. Now to preview whatever you're doing, there's a preview button down here. I like to preview it in the browser because it makes it easier. So click there, 
Okay, there's no browser. You're kidding. Okay, we're gonna have a problem there. So go to here, go to design and go to live. Now this is the live view. This means that whatever this is what it should look like in reality. So what I said was on image mouse over image one, sorry, mouse over image one, nothing, mouse over image two, it changes. So that means it's working. That's exactly what we want to happen. Simple mouse over effect. The images change corresponding to the thumbnail you're on. So let's go back to design view and finish off. So we need to just do the last one. So again, you need to open up your behavior window, click window, go down to behaviors. The behaviors window pops up. Make sure you're clicked on the thumbnail, the last thumbnail, which is three. Click in the first box. Select the behavior you're looking to set, which is on mouse over. Click in the second box and add the behavior you want to occur, which is an image swap. Which image? It's big image one. You want to change it to big image three. So big image three is the one to do with SW Dylan. Go back into my downloads, find the image, and set it. Ensure that there's a tick in preload images. Remove the tick in restore images on mouse out, otherwise it will disappear, and click OK. Once you've clicked OK, close the behavior box, save it. Save all this. Uh, hold on. Save. And then go into live view or view it in a browser and check that it's actually working. So what do we expect to see? We expect that on going over each of the images, the big image should change. So if I go over the first one, it shouldn't change because it's the same image. But if I go over the second one, it changes to the second image. And if I go over the third one, it changes to the third image. And that's exactly what we want for a simple gallery effect. Um, try it yourselves and let me know if there are any issues. Thank you.